All right, let's go. Oh, let's get that coffee going. Hello, dear Melo. Oh, let's get some of that coffee and some of the news. Let's go. There we go. And the FSR voice good, Resident Evil. I see. That sounds nice. So actually running good then. There we go. Actually running good then. It's nice that they have the demo like this so you can actually test shit, you know. How it works and how it plays eh? and how it runs. Alright, get the water. All right, so we still have two demos today. Gonna try to get a couple of hours each. Somewhat. Terraform is already played, but it's now out of early access. We're gonna get that one right again. In one military camp I haven't played before. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how they uh, look and how they play now. Eh? Tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be some more new stuff too. Gonna do a whole a bunch of shit. Alright, there we go. Gonna have a whole bunch of stuff to do. Um. All them games, man. All of them games. Uh. Oh, them Stevie, yeah, that doesn't sound very good, eh? That doesn't sound very good, eh? More life servicing, man. Not the best kind of life servicing, too. At all, eh? Doesn't sound good to me. All right, give it easy. I got him. I got him. I got me some milk. Can make some more press. So it's gonna be all the all the battle pass and other stuff galore. Seems like. That doesn't sound very good, then. It's entropy. And I see, all right. We can try to try to please everyone there. Yeah, if you have like the bo both things mixed, then it's kind of well. I mean, it depends, right? Like there are ex ex uh, exceptions, kind of like. Uh, I mean, again, right, like dark and darker and stuff. Where there is some PvE, there is some PvP. And you can't just exclusively do really either of them. So, kind of can be possible, can be possible if it's uh, made well. But yeah, it's not that simple to make it well though, I guess.
Not a dead a life server 60 euro game. Could be, could be. And to be honest, like, don't like wishing, you know, games to fail, but when it comes down to like the life service stuff and the greedy shit, then I actually don't really mind if they're gonna end up being a lesson for other companies to not chase the profits too much. You know, the Suicide Squad is now delayed too. So it seems like they are really, really trying also to, to kind of scavenge that because no one fucking liked what they saw whatsoever. I'm not sure if those delays will even be good enough because that seems like, like a dumpster fire there. Bet someone is crunching very hard now. Or probably for a while already, since it's not the first delay. And I think they tried to salvage it for a while already. But the problem might be, you know, a little too much in the core, in the core loop. In my opinion. And that will be not that simple to scavenge that. To salvage that. No, they are still sticking to uh, release uh, to live service for sure. I'm not saying they're not. I'm saying they're trying to like do at least something to because it's not because of the release date. It was actually even stated that it is because uh, the feedback was trash from the last time they show it. So they can switch from live service. They want that will be like full rework of the game. All the mechanics and everything are tied to that. Like, I really doubt it. They're just trying to somehow make it, you know, still appealing without changing the concept. Not to mention if you would want to just remove yourself from the crowded time frame, you wouldn't delay for half a year. When the game is already, like, delay after delay after delay and everything. So yeah, they didn't like the feedback, and the feedback didn't like them. Basically, basically. Should do better them. Yeah, I think that maybe they will, they will roll something like this, like around E3 or some shit. It wouldn't surprise me. Alexis, hello. How are we doing? You know one like game as a service two years ago? Well, I mean, even then it might be already kind of a bit late to change things much. So for all this time, they're kind of trying to make, you know, to make it still, still work. Because the game is in development for a while. It's been, what, like eight years since the last one? I'm pretty sure it may be like not full eight years, but probably huge chunk of that out of that time. So I think while they were still in process, they started realize that you know there was uh, Marvel's Avengers, all those things. Uh, and that maybe people don't really want that shit. So now for a while it's already kind of, you know, attempts to salvage it, attempts to still make people like it. Now I think they, they believe in, in game as a service stuff, they, uh, they just can't really change that. Like you can, but that's going to be like huge rework. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of those things are kind of ingrained in the game already. A lot of things are just built around the, the concept of live as a service. And microtransactions and stuff like this. It will be impossible to fix anything. 
So, I mean, that's the only option for them, unless they want to, like, rework it completely. And we already see a lot of those. Uh, kind of reworks. When a game just disappears for years, basically. So, at this point, it might be... It might be actually just better to double down. Well, I mean, you kind of need to. That's the thing, because if you're going to be lying about what the game is, then you're only going to get in the worst situation. You're going to get like the Fallout 76 situation and stuff. When you try to pretend that the game is not fully, you know, just multiplayer stuff and you still can enjoy your single player and then people will try it i realize it's not as enjoyable in single player and in general kind of not exactly single player whatsoever same here can't really lie so i think they're just kind of like doubling down because they can't really change much You just don't mention it. I mean, I guess. I think that also kind of might be part of the damage control. Like, if you mention it and uh, people are going to be mad or something after, they can go like, you know, well, we told you. We warned you. Why well, you have to be mad? And more people also kind of not even going to buy it because, you know, People didn't like how it looks, so they just kind of... It might be okay to do, you know, like, kind of focus on the audience that actually doesn't mind live service. To just, like, focus on the people who actually kind of like what they see. I mean, there are some, for sure. There's always are some people. So just kind of, like, try to focus on those. Get maximum clear that everything's, you know... It's bad. It's full microtransactions and stuff, guys. So those who actually kind of like get in, they already know what they're coming for. So they're going to be like, well, that's actually good. And then other people will just see like, you know, people actually enjoying that stuff. Maybe that's actually good. Let's go check it out. The remove they will come as, as heroes. That also could be the case. Yeah, they could just like lower the amount of like microtransactions or like rebalance something or some stuff and just you yeah, kind of like turn it as they you know listen to feedback and stuff and want to make a better game which i mean not exactly false they did listen to feedback during this delay and everything so i mean not false Just to sell you gun skins. I mean, kinda in a way, yeah, true. Have a huge fucking shark. Yeah, that shark just fucking shoot things, eh? Yeah, Alexis, yeah. Everyone just shoots things, eh? Well, not all of them flying around, though. Even though I guess kinda you could say sort of like all the swinging and everything. Like the movement stuff didn't seem too bad, at least. Movement didn't seem too bad. Everything else, though, yeah, not sure. But yeah, now they're just gonna remove some of the things. Make, you know, the pay-to-win levels a little less. Fix some things, rebalance some things, act on the feedback, win themselves a little bit more points. Get some time to, you know, polish things and everything. But it seems like quite a fiesta, though, they got into. Come on. Just dropping way too fast. There we go, and Everyone moves the same. Well, that's kind of true, yeah. That could be also like... Actually, not sure, yeah. 
like for traversal over the city in general i can see that making kind of sense just because you know it's gonna be annoying if shark will be like super slow just walking around or something and you need to travel around the city that would be just pp again well you could do some other way i guess too and get some like mounts or something i guess some vehicles there Yeah, I think pretty much the reason is that they were making that shit for so long but that they're actually behind on on the trends, eh? what people like and what people dislike. I don't really think people even like, like that shit in the first place, to be honest. Like all the all this life service people like not for the life service people like you know life service and stuff like this for the games uh, that have uh, that model because I guess for some games it's not like completely necessarily you know just a black and white situation for some games it's not too bad uh, when you have things constantly updating things constantly getting some new stuff to them and everything if the game is good then it's not too bad like i think that's like the reason why it worked with uh, with fortnite and everything for example like people like fortnite people didn't like you know the battle pass concept they just like fortnite and that's why the battle pass in fortnite also was kind of successful not to mention it was made there in a good way i think quite that is like very not demanding on the payment and everything, basically. All right, there we go. And there we go. Um, the copy of Gotham Knights, even. Making something intentionally so bad and fix it, kinda, kinda. Kinda. I did that thing for a while though. I'm just doing some debatable things and then kind of backing, uh, backing off it. Yes, yeah, Steve. Yeah, like they like it's it's all because it's democrat. Like the same with. Like League of Legends, for example, right? Everyone is like, oh, League of Legends, like monetizing on skins, and it's so good. We can also get the cosmetic uh, rewards and stuff in our game. No one's molding about League of Legends, right? <clears throat> People also forget that it's different games and stuff, too. Like, one thing is like League of Legends, and another thing is like some kind of single player ish type of game. Like, why would you have skins there? Like, come on, dude. Why is that the thing? Why is that the thing? Or like a memo is when skins are supposed to be kind of like rewards for stuff instead of uh, having some shitty reskins uh, as rewards uh, and then actually good stuff only in store. That is also wrong. Eh? Let's go on. Eh? Fortress with the hats. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if it was the first one, but yeah, that one, what that one is pretty big. Still is actually, I think. Actually, still kind of is. All right, let's see. Exit primal deploys 
Neck versus Dinosaurs in in July with an open bet the next week. Let's see. Hmm. A new update uh, by uh, the industry insider Jeff Grubb. Um, it is uh, suggested that Suicide Squad is actually pushed even to 2024. That will be already maybe some like some some bigger changes there. Do Steve do it? You better. You better. Yeah, the Art Infinitum moved from April to September. That's what we saw yesterday on the Econ Connect show. Canadian indie Dynasty Loop reportedly owes a staff more than $2 million in missed payments. Feels indie, man. Two mil. That sounds like rip. Oh, ten year development, yeah. Capcom explained that Jill Valentine didn't age in the upcoming cartoon because of the T virus effects. Not everyone enjoyed that explanation because apparently her outfit didn't didn't age also and didn't change. Not false, not false. Yeah, imagine how interesting it is right now to work there <laughs> in Rocks today. Delays, delays, and delays on delays. And everyone is just like not very happy with the shit you show. And that's pretty yikes, dude. Eh? Horizon Forbidden West, a writing unit gets full accreditation and Nebula Award nomination. Oh, so they fixed that one, alright. That's at least nice. Uh, Gameloft has closed its mobile studio in Budapest. Damn son. That's gonna be a lot of closing all over the place, seems like. Sega is doing uh, the free weekend in a Total War Warhammer 3. That's nice. Until the uh, 13th of March. You can play some of that. That's good shit. That's some good shit there. Make a geek hello. How we doing, man? No, apparently 50 Cent is working on the Vice City show and it's not connected to GTA series. I see. There was uh, talking about him teasing something for GTA. Apparently not. Apparently not. Damn Peggy feels bad. Feels bad. Never lucky. Epic unveils self-publishing tool for developers on the Epic Game Store. Mm, what's that? What's that? After meeting content and quality requirements, the studios can launch their titles via the Epic Developer Portal. Can release games as long as they meet the Epic Store's requirements. Prerequisites included that titles are prohibited from having a pornographic content. A multiplayer games must have crossplay across all PC storefronts. Regarding a game's quality requirement, firm said Epic reserves the right to reject games that we don't feel are sufficient in quality and functionality. I wonder. Devil on them. Got him. Got him. I mean, you never know. Might be some, like, you know, some stray sales there. Not like, not like it's gonna take anything from you anyway.
So maybe that way it will be also kind of easier to get into their program to get, you know, paid. All right, you have your game for free there or something. That would be kind of nice. That would be kind of nice. At least a little bit there. At least a little bit there. True, to untrue. But the thing is, like, it's already kind of like this, though. I feel like I don't. I'm not sure if discoverability is that good there. Kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it. I mean, it's still kind of you know the chance to get somewhere on that platform too. A chance to hit different audiences too and everything. So I mean if there will be like no floodgate or like floodgates would be closed, then chances to get there are still also kinda not super high. So I think it might be not too bad at least. The creators of Remnant 2 says that they want to uh, provide the gamers with the uh, the um, the maximum diversity in terms of gaming experience for every gamer. Every playthrough will be the super different. Could that be super different? Fourteenth of March, Callista Protocol will get uh, the the update with the Contagion mode. Eh? The Watchtower skins and the another 14 death animations. Oog. It's time. It's time. Yes, Dave, I guess. Could be. Could be. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will actually be out on PlayStation Xbox at the end of April. So it will be. It actually will be. Yeah, Red Until 4 remake got the demo. Eh? So you can check all the stuff and how it runs too. Apparently pretty good. Eh? Well, let's see. Um... Yeah, the Robocop Rogue City taking aim at September release date. That we saw yesterday, I was kind of, I don't know, looks alright, but the movement and everything, I'm not sure I was going to like transit to the game. Because it looks kind of weird. Eh? It's kind of like in the movie, right? He's like very slow, kind of just like, like slow moving, slow turning, slow kind of everything. Like, you know, the full on the old school robot way. So we'll see how that's going to go. Hey, Jay, hello. CSC, good luck, good luck. Damn. The Roche Limit is a dark surrealist a pixel art game that runs entirely in PowerPoint. Them son, the new platform, the new platform. Uh, Discord embraces open AI with new chatbot and AI server moderator. Them son. The AI everywhere. GG, nice, nice. Sounds good, huh? Sounds good, huh? Yeah, the Golem stuff is saw yesterday. This year, not sure when exactly yet, but this year. I see they were, right? 
That's pretty good. Eh? What a time to be alive. Eh? The Epic, head of Epic Games uh, claims that waiting for Alan Wake 2 on Steam or somewhere else on PC uh, will gonna, uh, gonna be long. Eh? The Alan Wake 2 gonna be exclusive for a while. Eh? Insane. Well, we'll see if it's actually going to be something worth waiting even, you know, considering the first Alan Wake. That wasn't something crazy there. Hey, Pony. All right, so nothing else. Anything else I still missing? Um, yes, a quarter four Suicide Squad release probably is not even going to be a quarter four. That might be actually next year in the end. Eh? Insane. What else? What else? Uh, I mean, TV Twitch turning off the the SMS two-factor authentication here. So don't forget to switch to to the apps. Don't forget to switch to the apps. Uh, still nice to have just in case anyway. The Twitch ads incentive program becoming more flexible. Them son, pug, pug. But it doesn't exist over here, eh? and even if it would, eh? it wouldn't be earning shit from it. Nice updates. Organizers of E3 2023 started taking applications for participation. It's gonna be the boots of the big companies. Eh? Uh, but for now, it's only Ubisoft officially. Yuck. Obsidian is uh, apologizing for the release version of the Outer Worlds Spacer's Choice Edition, promising uh, patching it as soon as possible. Indeed, why, why is it always. I mean, is this shit like happening all the time? Every every release now almost already. Like come on dinner. Can't we just have proper releases there? That shit they should make it free. I mean for those who own it for sure, I think. That would be fair. Epic Games Store giving away a Call of the Sea, and in a week that's gonna be Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War. That's pretty good. Eh? And that one I played and that I can recommend. That's a good shit for free. That's some good shit for free. Some quality gaming there. Eh? All right, anything else? Anything else? I mean, you're getting Diablo 4 beta access for, for buying in KFC. Damn, son. Lux doesn't work here. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. 
get the better that way or whatever. I would be fine with that. I wonder if there was some of the codes or something for it. Like since they're doing it with KFC and stuff, maybe there'll be some other codes you would be able to get. That would be very nice. That would be very nice. And the only thing, yeah, seems like it. Seems like it. That's a weird one indeed. Eh? Yeah, it's only on their website, I think. Like if you try to access from other regions, I think it just doesn't even work. So but that is only there probably. I wish I wish there would be other way also to get it. That would be very nice. Because otherwise it's kind of like pre-order only, which I mean I don't even mind. But it's a whole fiesta to get it here, which I might actually go through next week. We'll see, because I kind of want to play but the beta, and I mean I'm gonna play release 100% anyway. So it would be nice, but we'll see. Oh, we will oh, we'll see. All right. Well, let's get back to first look for ID. I'm playing all them games. Yes, see, I see. 